Hello and welcome to the Nerdy Things with Brendan channel. Today I have a list of 25 Marvel Legends that need redone. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for more videos just like it. Let's get into the video. Number 25 is Michelle MJ Jones from Spider-Man No Way Home. At first I wasn't sold on Zendaya as MJ, but after No Way Home I really liked her. She's only been released in this two-pack with Spider-Man from Spider-Man Homecoming. But if you try to find her on eBay or Mercari or anywhere now, she goes almost up to 80 bucks. And number 24 is Anya Corazon. Now we did get one version of her before in her Spider-Girl costume, but I prefer her in the Arana look. Number 23 is Quasar. Now we actually just got a Quasar figure recently, but I would prefer him in this look instead. At number 22 is Dracula. And for those who don't know, yes, Dracula is a real character in Marvel Comics. It's been quite some time since he got a figure. Dracula is definitely due for a redo. At number 21 is Kane, and technically we have gotten some recent Kane figures, but I think we all would prefer him in this classic 90s look. Number 20 is Shield Agents. These were once released as a Nick Fury with alternate heads and then a Shield Agent 2 pack. But these things will cost you almost 40 bucks a single figure now, just because so many people buy them for army building that price goes up they don't necessarily need redone more so just re-released in bulk so there's a ton on shelves and that you can buy up number 19 is rescue we once got a marvel legends rescue figure a comic version not the movie version but she now costs almost 40 60 even 80 bucks the years since she was made marvel legends has made great strides a lot of better figures out now i think they could definitely redo this one with better articulation at number 18 is Sunspot. He's a pretty cool X-Men. I really like the look. And we did just get a recent Sunspot figure, but he's got this, in my opinion, dorky 90s costume. I'd really prefer this look, where he's in the suit, the black hands, the black head, glowing yellow eyes. It's just a cooler look, if you ask me. At number 17 is Novar. Now, we technically did get a figure of him, but it's been a really long time. So I'd like a newer figure, but with the original look, not this look. At number 16 is Lockjaw. Now we actually did get a Lockjaw Marvel Legends figure, but it was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. And now if you want it, it's going to cost you $80 all the way up to $150. But we recently got a Cosmo Build-A-Figure in the Guardians of the Galaxy 3 wave. So I'm hopeful Lockjaw can be a Build-A-Figure down the way or even just a single figure. Number 15 is the Purple Man. Now we actually do have a Marvel Legends version of this guy, but I believe he's another San Diego Comic-Con exclusive or some box set exclusive. So he could do a general release, that would be great. At number 14 is the X-Men Psylocke. Now we've gotten a couple versions of her over the years, but if you want the classic costume look, it's going to cost you $40 or more. So I think she could do a re-release and you can give her double jointed elbows this time. That would be fantastic. And number 13 is Werewolf by Night. We got a figure of him long ago and it could definitely use a redo. But with the new Werewolf by Night uh, Marvel Disney Plus special, I think we should be getting one here any day. At number 12 is a comic classic version of Bucky. It's been quite some time since we got one, and he could certainly use a redo. At number 11 is the Wrecking Crew. Now we got these guys a long time ago, but if you want to get them now, they're about $40 or more each on eBay and Mercari and stuff, and they could certainly use a redo when it comes to articulation. At number 10 is Annihilus. Now we got a Build-A-Figure version of him a long time ago but he could certainly use a redo. At number nine is a McFarlane Spider-Man. Now this is a Spider-Man based on the drawings of Todd McFarlane, and a lot of us really love this look. Now in the years, we've gotten a lot of Marvel Legends Spider-Man, but none of them have really given us this look, and a lot of fans really love this look, myself included. Number eight is the Scarlet Spider. Now we've gotten two versions of this guy over the last maybe 10 years. And they've been pretty good. But if you want to get it now, it's almost $60, $80. It's insane. I think you could definitely do a re-release, if not a redo. Number seven is a Battle Ravage Spider-Man. 
Now, we got a version of this a long time ago, but he could definitely use a redo with the updated Marvel Legends articulation and the new body molds. At number 6 is a Gold Mark I Iron Man. We got one back in the day, and he's pretty good. He could use better articulation. But we recently just got a Mark I Iron Man that was just released a couple months ago. So making him gold and making another version really isn't that tough, so why not? At number 5 is a classic green and yellow suit Banshee. We got one a long time ago, and he's alright at best. But we actually just got a Banshee figure, and he's got the wings and everything. You just lose the collar, and you can make him green and yellow. So why not? At number 4 is Dum Dum Dugan. Now, we got one a long time ago, but he could definitely use a redo and hopefully a new face. At number 3 is a Peter B. Parker from Into the Spider-Verse. Now, we've actually gotten two versions over the last couple years. One with the trench coat and the sweatpants, and then one just with sweatpants. But we all just want one in a full Spider-Man costume with an unmasked head. At number 2 is She-Hulk. Now we got a pretty good She-Hulk back in the day and we've gotten new She-Hulk since then. But we all want She-Hulk in this classic white and purple costume. All of us She-Hulk fans really want this suit redone with updated articulation and double jointed elbows. Number 1 on my list is the Mole Man. I love the Fantastic Four and he's an iconic villain of theirs. We got one years ago, but could use a new one with updated articulation and two or three of his moloids. And that will now conclude my list of 10 Marvel Legends that need redone. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks, and bye.